last fall, we were just going to bed, and when we go to sleep, we tell each other we love each other, and off to bed we go. And I was in my room, and I heard a bang. I, re I remember the date exactly. I don't know why. <laughs> I hung myself September 10th, Monday, 9 o'clock. Come on, Zoe, what's going on? You know, she wouldn't talk. She was, she was fighting something. And then a couple months later, she finally said, Mom, I'm gay. And this year I came out as trans. I identify as two-spirit. And I decided that I should probably get help. And then Dr. James McCookus came up. I've been practicing as a family physician since 2012. And for the past three years, I've been having a transgender health focused practice. It also aligns with me being a Cree Two-Spirit physician. So Two-Spirit is a contemporary English term that reflects gender and sexual diversity that exists in Turtle Island prior to European colonization. And that was disrupted with the imposition of foreign values, Christianity, religious institutions. And what happened was Two-Spirit people were suppressed and killed, and the teachings around that went underground to protect them. Whereas now, it's, it's I would say, a very different environment for people who are growing up, but still very scary, I would say, for Two-Spirit trans youth in rural Alberta. Good to see you. Hey, Janet. Do you guys want to come in? Okay. So why don't we go over um, how long have you now been on testosterone? I think a month. Yeah, for a month. For one month. Yeah. Okay. So what have you noticed? Deep voice. Yeah. It's a lot deeper. I can't lift <laughs> the high notes anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I, I've noticed a better state of mind. Yeah. Calmer. Mm -hmm. you know. I played soccer boys soccer over the summer. My coach had to fight for me so I could play in the boys soccer because I didn't want to play with the girls. Because uh, when I was in grade seven, I was outed by, by this one girl. Everybody was talking behind my backs. Everybody was just mean and cruel. So I started taking her, I got her into counseling, we put her on medication to try and calm, help her. But with, because she's identifying more with the male dominant side, the, the testosterone has made such a difference. Ever since she started seeing Dr. Makokas, finally this kid is happy, you know. Gender dysphoria is a combination of many factors that include someone feeling that their physical body and genitalia and body parts are misaligned with how they feel inside. It's something that is persistent for at least six months, impeding their life. It's something that somebody strongly desires the physical characteristics and attributes of the opposite gender. Those are kind of the things that I look at when thinking about starting hormone therapy. And when we look at two-spirit trans people or trans youth, they have the highest risk of suicide of any group. And that's one of the reasons why I do this work is it helps to at least lower that and helps to protect young, two-spirit, gender-diverse people. So I was gonna go over this with you guys too. Um, this mountain, you see there, there's a face in there. This is one of the spirits that helps to look after two-spirit people and also men. Our people have always accepted diversity and we've always embraced that. That's why these places are so important because Creator wrote those on the land for us and we can read them, right? Makes sense? Mm -hmm. Awesome. Dr. McCookus makes me feel, how should I say this, um, grateful to be who I am. Interacting with him has been 
something amazing that I haven't experienced in my 15 years of living. <laughs> Growing up as a two-spirit youth, as a gay male in rural Alberta, it was awful. There's always the risk of violence, of being even more socially isolated. So at the end of grade 11, I told my family that I'm moving to Edmonton to my, with my sister to finish grade 12 because it was really important that I move, like physically move away to be in a place like Edmonton that was more diverse and had the opportunity for um, being around di many different groups of people. I think that when Two-Spirit trans youth come and see someone who looks like them, who has, um, who has long hair or, you know, same color skin as them, it's, I think it, it you know, it's for once in their life, there's someone that understands where they come from. And um, they don't have to fully explain everything. And that in coming to see me, I do my best to instill within them some of our teachings about being a Nehyo, being a Cree person. And, the teachings around our spirituality, especially as it relates to being a two-spirit person, which they probably have never heard before and which their, pro their family has probably never heard before. Over time, being with James has allowed me to feel secure as a person who's not gonna be hurt. And like, when a physician is there and is like caring and nurturing and providing a space for people to have wellness as a family, in a very difficult situation, that's something that I wanted to do. And so now that I am married to James, who's a physician, and we do like traditional things that create that space for people, it's gratifying that I still get to do what I wanted, but I didn't have to go to school and like study super hard to be a doctor. <laughs> and one of the favorite things about being in a relationship with James is that when people look at us, there's like a question mark on their face because we break their stereotypes about indigenous people. We break their stereotypes about femininity and gayness. We like kiss in public, we hug, we call each other babe. And it's just who we are, we just express ourselves. But in a real sense, we're creating community by hosting two-spirit sweats at our house. We have two-spirit meetings here and creating that space and being the guys who can stand up and be like, let's include everyone is a huge privilege. Hey, you found it. Yeah. Good to see you. Yeah. This is my mom, James. Oh, wow. Hello, yeah. Hi. 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 Good to see you. Mm -hmm. I'm all gross and wet. I haven't seen you since we got back yet, huh? I know. <laughs> I know. Do you want to do it? Sure. Oh, sure. Okay. So you just take it like that. So now you're going to turn it. So always going clockwise. Yeah, turn it. So you're going to go closer and you're going to go over the smudge like that okay. and then back. This has been a dream for us to have this sort of space. So I can't thank you enough for coming to help make that a reality. We're so grateful for you all for being here. And um, we're sharing some of those stories or teachings or whatever it is that you want to share about your experience as a two-spirit person or in ceremony or what keeps you well or what keeps you healthy. Um, I think those are the stories that we um, love to hear. I'm... Uh, mother of a transgendered son, being a mother of a daughter, I have different roles, rules, and then being a mother of a son, I had different roles, and then being a mother of 
of all of that um, in between was really, uh, really, mu it shifted my mind so much to think about the way people relate to one another. When I thought I was gender fluid, I remember talking about it to people in class and pretty much everybody didn't believe me and that's why I basically shoved it down for the next three years. And when I found out that two-spiritedness was a thing, it, it made me feel normalized, like I wasn't alone. There's a shared heartbreak between a lot of two-spirited people. I actually was attacked five years ago for being gay and I just consider myself lucky that I, that I survived it and now I, I feel like it's my duty. When I say what is two-spirit to me, it's a responsibility. And two-spirited people traditionally have always had this role of being caretakers and mediators, people who are able to go between both worlds and who could create that harmony. One of the proudest days of my life was the day that James and I first put up this teepee because it was like always my dream to have this with someone. I didn't know that we could come together and create a space and look at each other and just be like, I see you, like you're cool, like that's a beautiful dress. <laughs> it's just awesome that we have this because everyone deserves a place. It's amazing to see the joy and spark that ignites in people when they feel fully included and that they belong. And that's what we want to do for young two-spirit people as they're coming into their identity and, um, and who they are is to fully support them and know that there is a place where they can be who they want to be and who they are. Mm -hmm.